Hey everybody, Brad from Stockbridge. It's been about a month, so I thought I'd get you caught up on what's been going on in my backyard garden. The garden is really expanding this year. I've got buckets on the main hill, and then on the sides, I think I'm probably up to about 110 buckets. I still have the pepper buckets up here on the retaining wall where they'll get really warm above the compost pile. I'm trying a couple of different things this year with the aquaponics unit. First, I've taken out uh, most of the trays and I'm going to solo cups. This kind of allows me to plant individual plants in cups and as we come and harvest lettuce, you can harvest one cup and then replant another one. Over here on the left, these cups were all supposed to be peppers. And I think the water temperature being as low as it was kind of nixed that. I can just see in a few of the cups some of the peppers beginning to germinate. These peas have done really well. I've never grown peas before, and frankly the only reason I grew them was because they say that uh, beans and peas legumes fix nitrogen from the air and put it in the soil, and I thought it would be a good preparation uh, for the tomato plants. I didn't plant enough of them to get a huge crop of peas, so we've been enjoying just coming out, snapping them off, and just eating these little raw peas. These are the bush variety peas. You can see that they're about half of the height of the conventional peas on the trellis, but they are also really, really heavy uh, with pea pods. These guys are quickly becoming my new garden favorite. It's Swiss chard. They're related to beets, except they don't have the bulbs in the grounds. They're fluorescent yellow, red, pink, beautiful plants. And what I've been doing is, I've been cutting the leaves off, getting a handful of them, putting them in the blender with some crushed ice, an apple, and a banana, and making a green smoothie. It's actually good. So I've really been enjoying these guys. They're very easy to grow. They've grown through the winter. Uh, you can come out and clip a few leaves off of each plant to make a salad, and then they grow back just like leaf lettuce. A lot of our friends have been raving about kale. I'd never had kale. So I decided to plant a little bit of it, and so here is the crinkly leafed kale coming up, and I actually have a couple of buckets of the kale growing. So I'm interested to see what that's going to be like. My wife Becky is a fan of Caesar salads. This romaine lettuce does super well in buckets. It seems to withstand the heat better than a lot of the other lettuces. What I'll do is I'll put four in each bucket, and then I'll harvest a couple of the heads early. We'll have little salads with those. And I'll let one go to full maturity. This whole row of buckets here are all determinate tomatoes. They look pretty good. They're nice and stocky. I've actually started three or four tomatoes a bucket. And then I'm going to take these other ones out and transplant them in our garden at school or in the community garden in McDonough. I'm really happy with the way they look. I did not start my tomatoes early no real reason other than time just got away from me and so I thought I wasn't going to have tomatoes I planted these outside in the buckets from seed and since they haven't had to go through any kind of transplant shock or anything I feel really good about the tomato plants this year these guys are my indeterminate tomatoes I'll build trellises around them here so that they'll have something to vine up and then I'll take some of the extra tomato plants out of the buckets and move them over and put them in the buckets where the peas are currently growing. What I ended up doing when I saw the little green worms eating holes in my cabbage was I came out here and I just squished the worms and left them there on the cabbage. Kind of went roaming on them and the other worms seemed to see the corpses of their brothers and sisters and decide they were going to go somewhere else. In the melee I do have a couple of cabbages and collards and broccoli that are unscathed. This is a really pretty plant right here. I've really been enjoying having a backyard garden. I have no clue what I'm doing, but you try this, you try that. Some things work, some things don't. My diet has changed too, but it's not because I went to some doctor and got yelled at and told you should, you need to, or anything like that. It's just when you've taken the time to put plants in the ground and you see them grow, it's kind of fun to be able to come out, pull out a radish, 
You can wipe it off, you can wash it off, and take a bite.